Hello, Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, here to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the cold footings of my deck. Just wanted to say thank you to all my supporters, old and new. I wouldn't be where I am without you. You are my Christmas gift this year. So thank you for everything. And I just wanted to say a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do your December 25th through December 31st weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Now, this may not resonate with you as it is not a private reading. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. You still got that vindictive, spiteful energy around you. There's some unhappiness here, feeling like you don't want to celebrate, you know, feeling like there's no growth, like you've reached a, there's a period of discontentment, like you're at a dead end, you know, there's no place else to go, you may be feeling quite down, um, you know, like your wishes aren't being fulfilled, and I'm sorry to tell you that, things may be just a little bit chaotic, but they could start to be getting better. But whatever's happening is seriously a blessing in disguise, so keep that in mind. When the Tower card comes up in a reading, it, there is a blessing in disguise here. Whatever is happening is going to help you in some way. I feel like, you know, um, you guys are starting to become free of something. This Tower is going to help you. This Tower is going to help you help to free you from something negative, from a negative toxic situation. So take it as a blessing in disguise. You know, don't take it as, you know, this is a downfall or, oh my God, another another um, problem. Think of it as a blessing, you know. This is, this is going to bring you someplace else, okay? Yeah, woo! Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, we got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. We have a Leo, perhaps. We have a Gemini. We have a Capricorn. We have a Taurus. Um, it appears to me, and we have, what's this, Pisces, can't, no, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you know, things are happening. Things are happening, and they could, they could. You could feel like it's a big struggle. It's like, man, this, this. It's, when is this going to be over? You know, the struggles. They're real. The struggles are real. And right now, you can't. It's like you're. You can't really use your resources, or you're not real willing to use your resources to free yourself from this, because you're not using your resources to free yourself. Luckily, we have the tower here, and most people wouldn't say luckily, but I do, because this is a blessing in disguise. This is, I feel, like it's the universe saying, okay, and she's not, she or he isn't taking action. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them a little kick in the ass, okay? And I'm going to take action for them, because they've been procrastinating, they're not moving, nothing's changing, and they need my help. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to give them the freedom that they've been seeking, you know, some kind of freedom. Somebody hasn't been making the changes that they need to make. Plain and simple. I mean, this two of pentacles is reversed. You know, it's up to you to change your life. 
generally. I mean, if you're just waiting for the universe to come in and do it, well, then, of course, it's going to take forever. I mean, you have to take action. You have to take care of yourself because nobody else is going to, okay? Um, it feels like many of you, you know, you're, you've reached a dead end. You've reached a dead end. Nothing's changing. And, you know, it's bringing a lot of unhappiness, a lot of... Uh, there's no wish fulfillment here because I see procrastination, you know, somebody's lying to themselves or somebody's lying to you. There's lies and deceit here. There's some sneaky shit going on. Either it's sneaky or you're lying to yourself. Something is going on. Somebody's pretending they're not telling the truth. There's some dishonesty. There could be some harsh words going back and forth between people. There could be three people. There could be a third party situation where there's two against one, you know, and you're feeling like, oh my God, I can't. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. And you may feel like you're the victim, but the fact of the matter is you're not a victim because you have the power within you to change how you perceive the situation at any time. You have the power within you to, to change the situation, whether you think you do or not, you do. If you think you don't, then you're playing the victim, okay? So this tells me that, you know, you have the power to change it, but you're just not using your resources to do that. Okay, you're not creating the outcome you want when you, you when you can. And and I, I I really don't have any sympathy for anybody who says they can't change their their situation because I know that you can, okay? Um it feels like that you know, there could be somebody who is keeping their lips closed, you know, they're not speaking up. They're just letting themselves be taken, uh, taken advantage of. You know, somebody is cutting them down. And that you got somebody's just letting it happen instead of making the changes that they need to. Instead of putting one foot instead of in front of the other and doing something about it. You know, they're just sitting there crying about it or feeling like a victim. You know, feeling unloved but not doing anything about it. You know what I mean? Not not removing themselves from the situation out of feeling, oh, I can't do it. There's, you know, that word can't. I, I, I really don't go for that. Um, it can happen. I know that it can. Um, so anyway, um, many of you are stuck in a situation. You're stuck somewhere that you can't get out of, you know, and the thing is, is you can get out of it. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck. It's all a matter of you freeing yourself, finding the resources. And if you don't have the resources within you, then you need to look outside of you for the resources. There are resources available to help you. All you have to do is take the initiative and look for them. Okay. I just want to make sure that this was viewed, being seen very good. Um, either way, somebody's in this situation that is watching this is not making the changes. They're not using the available resources that they can. I mean that they have. There are resources elsewhere. All you have to do is look for them. Okay? Right now, there's no growth. There's some, some kind of lies. There's a lot of unhappiness. Their wishes aren't being fulfilled. You know, and the fact of the matter is, is you are what you create. Okay? This is for Sagittarius. It feels like there's some manipulation going on. Somebody is manipulating you, controlling you. You know, they've got you tied down to something. And, you know, but the fact of the matter is you can free yourself. You can, but you mentally feel like you can't. You know, if you feel like you can't, if you have that word can't in, the, in your head and you're saying, I can't do it, I can't do it. Well, then you can't. All right. So you have to say, I can I can free myself from this situation. I can do it. You might have to ask your friends for help. You might have to ask the government for help. I don't know. But I see that there are resources available to help you when somebody is just playing the victim. They're not asking for help. They're just staying stuck there because they must like it.
I, damn Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, twice. Okay, there's there's somebody here that is pretty uh, intense. Okay, you have an intense energy around you that it's kind of like <laughs> there's a lot of arguing and I'm not arguing like this person's cutting you down. It's like this person is kind of like <sighs> disgust. I'm disgusted by this person. You know what I mean? The way that they treat you. That's how I feel. It's like it's like. <sighs> I don't even want to even see this person, you know what I mean? Because they just disgust me. And I don't know who it is, but the way that they act is just totally, like, uncalled for, ruthless. They don't care about anybody's feelings. It's like, oh, my God. Now, perhaps there's going to be a change in your home where you separate from this person. Now, this can be anybody. It can be a mother, father, sister, brother husband, wife, you know, whatever, anybody, it could be anybody from your work too, it could be a boss, you know, but I just feel like there's, there could be a change on the horizon where there's a change in establishment, this could be work or home, now this would be your blessing from the tower, because this is what is needed, I feel like a change is needed that you've been resisting for a long time, you've been resisting this change, but you're at a point right now where it's just about killing you, it's like I can't take this another minute, it's killing my soul, Okay, and the fact of the matter is, is this cycle does need to end. Okay, the cycle needs to end. There's something going on that is not healthy. Okay, that it's not healthy for you in any way, shape, or form. And it is time for somebody to take action. Act now. Think later. Get the hell out of there. That just about sums up your reading now, doesn't it? It does. A change in residence or job is needed. Or a change of friends. Something like that. Something isn't healthy. You are in a very unhealthy situation where you are being manipulated, controlled, possibly even abused. And the fact of the matter is, is that you need to act now and let go of the fear, because this is fear. You need to let go of the fear of, I can't do it. You can do it. You can do it. You are not bound to this person like you think you are. You can free yourself. All you have to do is speak up and ask for help. Ask for help. A cycle needs to end. You are involved in a very toxic cycle situation that needs to end. It's very unhealthy and abusive. I don't know who this is for, but it's for somebody. time to walk away it's time to remove yourself from this situation and do not look back this isn't a great love reading okay it's not because right now you're dealing with something that is toxic whether it's at work or at home you're dealing with something is, that is toxic and it is affecting your love life, okay? If you are in a career that is that toxic, then absolutely it's going to affect your love life. If you are living in a situation that is this toxic, it is going to affect your love life, okay? There's something toxic going on here that you need to walk away from. And if you think that you can't, then you're not ready to walk away. Then, you're, then you must like the, this. You know? It is what it is. And this isn't going to be for everybody. This reading is not going to be for every single person that watches it, okay? It's going to be for somebody. The first card is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. You have a lot of lighthearted energy that has been buried, 
buried. You don't even feel the urge to do this anymore. It's like, you know what? I, I can't. There's that can't word again. Because you have been so manipulated and controlled and put down that your lighthearted energy can't even shine. You're being called to do this. This is who you are, Sagittarius. Don't you want this back? Forgiving and learning. Whew, that's a good one. This is a lesson. As you release and heal the past, do you get that? As you release and heal. Release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. As you release this toxic situation, you will be able to extend your lighthearted energy, energy to others again. Your heart, your soul will start to lift back up. Start investigating the resources that are available, whether they are inside yourself or outside of yourself. You have the ability to heal, forgive, learn, move on, let go. Act now. So anyway, this is what I have, Sagittarius. Talk to you later.